What are three great steakhouses off the beaten path? Stay tuned. I'll give you that answer. Growing up here in the St. Louis area, I learned about hard work from my father who owned a local waste collection company. I loved attending Cardinals and Blues games whenever possible. Now I spend my time helping others move here and build a life for their families. I'm Brian Vogt. Come with me as I show you the best of living the St. Louis Metro East lifestyle. Hi everyone, what are three great steakhouses off the beaten path? First, understand we have our fair share of amazing steakhouses throughout the entire Metro East. But in this episode, I wanted to focus on places that not only have great steaks, amazing atmosphere, but also places where people may not know about because of where they're located. So let's get started with number one. What restaurant has been around for over 40 years, located in O'Fallon, Illinois, off O'Connellsville Road, started as a house and was converted to a steakhouse. It has grown and grown over the years to where they can host wedding receptions. And still, if you're not looking for it, you can drive right past it. If you guessed Andrea's Steakhouse, you would be right. I remember first going there as a kid with my parents, and they never disappointed. They also have an amazing steak sauce that you can buy to capture that flavor at home. If you're looking for great service, killer steaks, and delicious prime rib, then you might need a doggy bag bar because of its size. Then look no further than Andrea's Steakhouse. Number two, this restaurant are built in the 1800s and was known for their fried chicken. When the new owners bought it in 1976, the wife didn't like fried chicken and decided to make it a steakhouse. A decision that the town of Freeburg, Illinois and the surrounding area have always been grateful for. Of course, I'm talking about Ballantine's Steakhouse, known for their juicy steaks and excellent service. I first heard about them from my parents, who loved dining there as a couple or with friends, and they always had a great meal. And their dedication to excellence hasn't changed over the years. If you're looking for a great steak, then make the drive to Freeburg, Illinois. You won't be disappointed. Number three, Google Maps might be the best way to find this chop house if you haven't been there before. I'm not sure how long they've been around, but with over 10,000 followers on their Facebook page, my guess they have been open forever. Located outside of Breeze on St. Rose Road, I'm talking about the one and only Popeye's Shop House, where they serve, they serve juicy hamburgers, amazing hot wings, but they are best known for their delicious steaks. With a country-style atmosphere along with great hospitality, this is a steakhouse you must check out. And don't be surprised to be asking for the doggy bag, since they're known for their generous portions along with their reasonable prices. If you're looking for a great steak with all the fixings, then Popeye's Steakhouse is your place. I don't know about you, but I have suddenly gotten a very hungry appetite. With everything opening back up, this would be a great time for you and your friends to enjoy a great night out. So I highly encourage you to try one of these steak houses this weekend. Not only will you have a great steak, but you will be truly helping these restaurants out given what they've been having to go through this past year. To make sure you don't miss another episode, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Until the next episode, make it a great day. Got a question about real estate around the St. Louis Metro East area? Call me, Brian Vogt, at 618-210-2451. Or, for a free copy of my Amazon number one best-selling book, Ready, Set, Sold, visit my website, brianvogt.com. Thank you for tuning in. This is Brian Vogt. Until next time, on Living the St. Louis Metro East Lifestyle.